We are farmers. Farmers. <laughs> Madison Tillman, but down at the farm, most people call me Tilly. I graduated from Haverford in 2018 and have been managing the farm in the farm fellow position since then. The Haver farm is located down past the facilities garages, and today I'm going to give you just a quick tour so that you can see a little bit about what's going on down here. Let's take a look. So we're currently standing in the classroom. This is where we host workshops like lip balm and salve and deodorant making. Uh, it's also where we have our herb drying racks, which this is how we dry herbs to prepare them for our herbal tea bags. And then it's also where we wash and weigh produce for the farm stand. This is our greenhouse. So this is where we start seeds for transplanting out in the plot. We do a little bit of propagation in here for the plant cells, but primarily we're starting seedlings. So. The greenhouse is a great place to do that because it allows for total climate control. So right now I see some okra, some sunflowers, lettuce, tomatoes, some collards. Got quite a bit going on in here, but it's still early in the season, so these starts are pretty, pretty young. Uh, but they'll get transplanted out soon. And then right behind me, over to the left of the greenhouse, those are our beehives. All right, here we are down by the honey beehives. Our honeybees are arguably the most important farmers we have here at the Haver Farm because without them, there would be no produce, no farm. So our honeybees also produce delicious honey of which we harvest a little bit each year. They're also maintained by a beekeeping club. So if you're interested in beekeeping, look out for more information about clubs coming this fall. Welcome to the farm. This entire place behind me used to be a temporary parking lot during the 2013 Golf US Open. And then it was converted into what you see today. Professor Helen White's senior capstone in the Environmental Studies Department and Arboretum Director Claudia Kent worked together to develop a funding proposal for the farm and the farm fellow position. The previous farm fellows, Aubrey and Jazara, worked tirelessly with students to get the farm where it is now. And we're so grateful that they did because now I get to show you around this beautiful place. This is our main production plot. This is where we grow the majority of our produce. We have 16 no-till beds in here. Um, and one of my favorite things about the Haver Farm is that we practice regenerative agriculture. Meaning that we really try not to deplete the topsoil, but rather rebuild it. So to do that, we practice no-till organic methods. And what I mean by no-till is um, we disturb the soil as little as possible to decrease soil erosion while increasing carbon sequestration and nutrient availability. So some of the no-till methods that we do at the Haver Farm include cover cropping. One of the ones that we use is called crimson clover and another is vetch and those are both nitrogen fixating cover crops. Um, another thing that we do here is we use a drip tape irrigation system so this slowly drips water throughout the day um, right at the base of the plants so we don't lose any water to evaporation or overhead spraying and it's convenient for plants like cucumbers which don't really like to get their leaves wet. So we're only two weeks into farming post quarantine which means all of our crops are very young uh, but right here we have cucumbers, we have some baby okra behind me, then some eggplants, tomatoes, kale, zucchini, swiss chard, beans, and then a single poppy that we left in the ground. <laughs> uh, so that's a little bit of what we have going on out here right now. We're really looking forward to getting more in the ground soon. We recently secured a plot in the Haverford Community Gardens where we're going to be able to construct a new high tunnel which will allow year-round growing here at the Haver Farm. So a high tunnel is essentially a movable greenhouse that regulates temperature, pests, and water levels to really achieve a maximum yield. Uh, we're really excited for it to extend the growing season. We're excited to get it built and planted. Uh, check back in with us this fall and hopefully we'll have a video up about our adventures at the high tunnel. So I showed you before where we wash and weigh our produce, but you might be wondering, where does it actually go? <laughs> well, we distribute at a weekly farm stand to our CSA members and to the campus food pantry. 
We distribute everything on a sliding scale, uh, which means you pay what you can. And the reason we do that is to ensure equitable access to all of our produce. With so much to do at the Hover Farm, we are always looking for more volunteers and student farmers. For BICO students, the best way to get involved is probably the PE class. That's a six week course where you'll learn the basics of sustainable agriculture and organic farming, while also getting to execute many of the farm's day-to-day -day tasks. We also have a couple paid positions for student workers. Those are funded by the summer sales, the CPGC, Arboretum, and the environmental studies departments. Additionally, we have volunteer days frequently throughout the summer and throughout the entire growing season, which are open to uh, BICO students as well as the whole college community and college neighbors. We'd love to see you there. So we welcome you to swing by the farm anytime, whether you've been involved with the farm for years or are brand new to it. If you're interested in getting involved, look up our upcoming events on our website, haverford.edu farm, or follow us on social media. But above all, we really want to say, welcome to the Haver Farm. Hey y'all, Tilly here. It has been about six weeks since I filmed the farm tour video and the plot looks totally different. So I just want to give you a quick update. Totally different. Look at these, what once were tiny cucumbers are now big and thriving. We've also got some beautiful okra, some beautiful eggplant and tomatoes. And on the other side, the zucchini, I wish I could show you, they are gigantic. They keep getting too big too quickly. Um, but yeah, we are so excited about this and can't wait to see y'all soon. Come by the farm.